Hey there, bike people. Welcome to CycleCraft TV. I am Brendan Poe, the owner of the CycleCraft Cycling Center, located on Route 46 in Parsippany, New Jersey, and all around the world at CycleCraft.com. In today's episode, I wanted to give you a sneak peek of the new Vast E1 pedal assist electric bike. Now, if you watch this channel, you know I'm a big fan of the Vast Bicycle Company's products. This bike is really no exception. To say that this bike is merely a pedal assist e-bike is really understating things a bit. You could actually consider this a replacement for a car. So today, I'm going to give you an overview of the bike and then we're going to take it for a quick ride. All right, here goes our first ride on the Vast E1, Eviolo model. So one of the things I will say right out of the gate that I really like about this bike is uh, the full suspension feature. So it's got a suspension element in the rear, so the rear swing arm uh, flexes, and then also the uh, shock absorber in the front. We got a front fork that uh, also articulates. This is a much smoother ride than the. Uh, than my cargo bike that I had. This bike has the Bosch uh, performance line speed motor. So this is an 85 Newton meter motor, the same as the uh, other bike, the Surly. And it's also got a 500 watt hour battery. And uh, right now it's saying I've got 85%. I'm riding on Eco right now, and it actually goes pretty good. So we're gonna give a little more boost on the motor. The other thing we got to get used to is the way that the uh, the way that the motor and the gears work together. So with the uh, Envioli Enviolo CVP hub, it stands for continuously variable. Gear. See all these people are trying to get out of the way. They're not very good. We're gonna leave this in turbo to get us off the line real quick. Because as you will know, there's a lot of traffic. And we're off. Not too bad. Now we're gonna turn that power back down to tour and see how that goes. So Bosch claims that this motor and battery combo on a moderately hilly ride of someone uh, roughly my weight, I should get around 35 miles for a battery charge. And my commute home is uh, about 12 and a half miles. So we're gonna see how true that is. Right now it's saying I've got a range of 24 miles because I did not start with a full battery. drive is pretty interesting. It's uh, not having a gear clacking back and forth, clack, clack, like that is uh, it's pretty cool. The other nice thing about it is that you can shift whether you're pedaling or not. It's kind of nifty. So far, here's what I like about the bike. Uh, it is comfortable to ride. Uh, I would change the handlebar on it for myself, just to have something a little flatter. Uh, but other than that, uh, the suspension elements are super duper nice to have. Um, it's a little tricky with the uh, with the racks and everything. I didn't really have appropriate bags to carry all my gear because coming off of that Surly, I had these two giant cargo bags, and you know it was generally pretty easy to uh, you know to uh, carry my stuff. Anyway. Uh, stuff I do like about it, uh, comfortable. The suspension in the front and the back definitely adds a nice element of comfort to it. Uh, I gotta work on the seat height a little bit. Uh, it is a little tricky getting used to the Enviolo uh, hub. Like I said, that's continually, continuously variable. Uh, I forget what the P stands for, but basically it's a continuous gear range. Uh, so from the low end to the high end, there's an infinite number of steps in between. So you can really dial in the, uh, 
can dial in the, the effort that it takes to pedal the bike just by using the twister uh, on the side. And getting used to it, I've got to remember that turning it forward is the low gear, turning it back is the high gear. So it's uh, uh, forward up and uh, back down. So if I'm going down a hill, you got to turn back. Anyway, I digress. It is an interesting system, but it definitely takes a little bit of getting used to if you're used to using a traditional uh, derailleur chain and gear setup. Uh, but uh, so far, yeah, it's pretty groovy. Uh, this thing go it gets cooking pretty good. Apparently, uh, this is a 28 mile an hour speed cutout, uh, so it makes it a class three bike. I thought it was 20, but I'm going uh, 24, 25 miles an hour and the motor is still working, so that's a good thing, I guess. I can go quicker. Uh, it is 72 degrees out. Uh, 72 degrees out, I'm wearing a flannel shirt and I'm not really sweating too hard, so uh, I know that I'm not working as hard as I would be if I did not have the motor assist. Um, so, all in all, I'm really enjoying the bike so far, and it is a great day to start uh, back to commuting by e-bike. Uh, I'm gonna try and get out here more often than not. Um, so, that said, I'm gonna jump back on the bike and we're gonna toddle on and uh, we're gonna get going back home. So, halfway there and I'll see you when I get home, okay?